After graduating as a chemical technician, I continued my uh, studies uh, at the NCSET. It's a French chemical and materials engineering school. First, I came to the CEA for a six months internship. And um, as I felt well, I stayed for a PhD. We are around 10 people with different backgrounds from chemistry, polymers, physics, and we try to develop nanomaterials in order to use them for applied physics and applied sciences. I work on the synthesis of metallic nanowire uh, in order to make transparent electrodes. We try to make some very tiny gas sensors. We also make products for electronics, uh, for instance, for flexible electronics that will be used in smartphones or displays. But uh, for meeting the new needs, we have to develop new materials, especially for doing some flexible device, something like that. And so the new materials have to be cheap and abundant uh, on the earth. So every time we think we have an invention, we go for a patent application and then after we go for publication in good journals. We have some very good networking with academics from France, from Europe, from international countries and we also have a good network with industrial. I think Grenoble is a, an attractive place uh, for young culture and uh, even for the other because there are lots of uh, research centers, uh, private or public. All these competencies allow to develop new products which can be eventually commercially available. There are possibility to build startups to develop products and as there are many, many companies all around, it's possible to show them your development in order to promote them. I will not say that my PhD is uh, easy because <laughs> it's not easy, but uh, we are a young team uh, with nice people, we have uh, money to do our research and my subject is recent, new, with direct application like if I see my, my smartphone I can say hey maybe someday I will put my materials inside so it's a, it's a good motivation to, to work. What I think here it's a very good place to make some research because we do not make academic research, we do not make science for science but on the other side, we do not have the constraints of industrial. So it's a very good trade-off to make some good research, applied research. So clearly, I think it's a good way if you want to make research at the top level.